Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, sometimes hair, so that sounds like a thing. Please make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram, where I post a lot of stuff that you're not gonna see here on YouTube. Today, I'm using my vlogging camera because we're gonna go through my entire skincare collection. I don't feel like it's as big as a lot of videos you see here on YouTube, like makeup collections, um, but it's definitely bigger than anything anyone ever needs. <laughs> so on that note, I just want to say that um, there's no reason anyone should ever need this amount of skincare. A lot of it goes unused by me and is given away to friends and family or charities. And of course, I get a lot of stuff gifted to me as well. Um, so I don't spend a lot of money on it either. And again, unless you're doing it for a job or you're a collector like me, I really don't think there's any need to um, have a collection this size, I have to be honest. This is what I um, used most recently to keep all my skincare in. I think it's called like Alexander. Um, I'll just show you here. Um, and it is basically a nine draw tower kind of thing. I only got this recently and put all my skincare in here, as I said recently, um, but I love this because my idea was like cleanser, toner, essence, serum, uh, sunscreen, <laughs> day moisturizer, night moisturizer, miscellaneous things like lip stuff and masks and things like that. And that's kind of what I've done, but I just want to go through each drawer and show you exactly what I've done. So we're gonna start off with the cleanser drawer. So many people comment on how I say cleanser. Like clean, cleanser. So I do have quite a few unused items in here. Um, these are the Nature Republic Aloe Vera Cleansing Tissues. I kind of have these for emergency. Um, and then I have a new oil cleanser that I'm trying. This is the Hadalabo oil cleanser that a lot of you recommended actually. A backup of my matcha hemp hydrating cleanser from Crave. What else do we have in here? I'm not going to take it all out. A backup vanilla um, cleansing oil balm thing, a Hamish one. We've got a Wish Trend enzyme powder wash, which I actually really need to try. Another Wish Trend cleanser there. Um, one of my favorite cleansers is a tr uh, Accent Oil cl Cleansing by Troy Arake, the Neogen foaming cleanser that I'm yet to try, the Hadalabo. Um, foaming cleanser and the Claire's Rich Moist Foaming Cleanser that I use a lot. My everyday cleansing balm, um, which you've seen in like countless videos really. Then we have like another powdery enzyme wash. This is another Japanese one, which I absolutely love. Enzyme? It's probably not an enzyme wash at all. Um, and then we have the Sun and Park Beauty Water, which I love, which I do feel is just nice to have around. It's kind of the same thing as the cleansing um, wipes at they're like for emergencies, you know, if you need a quicker cleanse with this, it's better than nothing. Um, I've used like one of these in a month, so um, I'm, I'm embarrassed I have them actually. <laughs> As long as you don't use cleansing wipes as your main form of cleansing or a first cleanse, I think they're they're good to have around just for like emergencies. But anyway, let's get back. We're gonna go to toners. The toner drawer. Um, so this is actually a mix of toners and um, chemical exfoliators or exfoliating toners. I don't own um, a physical exfoliator anymore. So um, this drawer is just kind of like a mix of them all. Um, so we have the COSRX um, it Liquid Intensive, which is for um, acne and spot-prone skin. I don't use it that often. I don't know why it's kind of at the front here. I wish this could be a bit more organized as well. Like, I don't know. I just kind of chucked everything in. Um, the COSRX Galactomyces Alcohol-Free Toner, which I absolutely love. We have the Iron From Rice Toner. We also have a backup of the Iron From Rice Toner um, because I love it so much. And you can see I'm like right at the end of this one, what else do we have? Cream Skin Refiner, I've got a new one coming soon because as you can see I'm out of that. Um, and that is literally just that in a spray form. This was before they brought out the mist, I put it in a spray bottle. I don't really know why I'm still hanging on to this but this is the COSRX Real Water Toner to Cream. It's just a mess of a product, I have to be honest. Um, two Troy Arake um, Skin Complex Formulas. These are amazing if you've got money to spend and you want like a toner ample hybrid. Um, these are really, really good. Oh, and then we have the, um, what's this? The Cioris um, Time Is Running Out Mist. It's like a toner serum, kind of like 
moisture thing in one, toner mist serum all in one. Then we're just left with the chemical exfoliators. So the Kaolaluya, I've got the backup Kaolaluya. I put the ordinary salicylic acid solution in here as well. Um, so I know just kind of use one of these at a time. Um, the Sun By Me Miracle Toner, that's not a miracle at all. The COSRX Blackhead Power Liquid, as well as the COSRX Whitehead Power Liquid. And then their Poreless Power Liquid as well. So I forgot to mention, one thing I do, I don't keep products in the bathroom anymore. I read somewhere that it's not good for them, um, to put it very simply. So what I do is I have like this basket thing and I'll go through the ladder of shelves and pick a toner, essence, serum, moisturizer and pop it in here like I'm doing a pick a mix of skincare. It's usually obviously the same products but if I'm experimenting, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll do. The next drawer is more toners, mists and things that I'd use in the essence stage. We of course have the Neogen Real Micro Ferment Essence Real stuff, which is really, really good. A COSRX Mist, um, the Galactomyces Essence, which is really, really good. Um, all of the Hadalabo um, ones that I've been trying at the bottom, ones that I need to try on the top here. Um, I love these so much, they're so, so good. More face mist, mists here. Um, another bubble product which is the essence from the Cific. And then we have the tone up pads at the back there. Next drawer is serums. So these all slide back. That's the only thing with this is when you open and close it, everything kind of slides back. So yeah, I have a lot of the Innisfree green tea seed serum. Um, I'm well stocked on that because I absolutely love it and I do go through it a lot. Um, the COSRX serums as well, the Ampoule, um, what's that called? Centella Ampoule, the blemish one, which I'm kind of liking at the moment. Initially I was a bit like, mm, like it's not so great, but I actually it's really calming my skin. Um, and then the white Mela Ample, I've got a new one coming with this hopefully very soon. All of my ordinary ones, so my niacinamide, my retinol, what's this one? Oh, hyaluronic acid in there as well. Um, the Cyrical Red, was it? Anti-Red Solution. The Cyrical Anti-Red Solution, which is okay-ish, is quite good. No, I said Just serum. You'd like to call Auntie Cheesteen? No, I have an Auntie Cheesteen. Uh, tea tree serum as well. Oh, I'm really liking this. This is the Mizon Snail Repair Intensive Ample. Um, I've tried it for about a week um, and I really, really like it. As you can see, I do keep everything in the box. I do find, well, most things in the box. I find that it just helps store things a lot easier. What's this? Oh, that's where that went. This is my rosehip oil from The Ordinary. Um, what do we have here? Oh, I forgot I had that. That's the Milky You. Quite a nice moisturizing serum. But I'm from Jingseng Serum, which I'm not using enough considering everyone's saying it's amazing. Um, my Claire's Vitamin C Drops, of course. And the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum. This one's from Neogen. These are really cool. They're like little, um, what's the word? needles filled with serum they're obviously not needles but you take off the cap um and put that on this will last you actually like a couple of um a couple of days um but you, you actually use that in conjunction with a spot treatment i'm going to show you up here um and then of course we have a great barrier relief from crave in there okay so this is daytime moisturizers so um, we have the Hadalabo. I actually forgotten the name of this one. This is the 3D firming gel. Um, it's quite a thick, gloopy um, moisturizer, but we have quite a few Hadalabo ones in here that I'm not gonna talk to you about now because I have a Hadalabo review up this month. We have two of the Claire's um, freshly juiced vitamin E masks, because I love them so much. Again, another thing I go through a lot of. This Neogen Black something moist, black volume cream. Um, it's good in summer. It's a nice like gel. Are you, are you focusing? It's like a nice gel moisturizer. Comes with a little spatula thing. This I haven't used yet. This is the Dr. Jar um, Fuse 
hydrogel moisturizer. I'm gonna use this when I film my morning routine because I bought this moisturizer to use in the morning. So I'm gonna do it as like a first impressions within my morning routine. Intensive cream, which is so-so, it's okay. We also have the Neogen um, Joan Day Joan Night Cream, which is good. Um, the Nature Republic Aloe Vera Gel, moisture stick, and a few tone up creams in there too. Next up is sunscreen. So we have, I, I just keep like the little ones in a box to kind of stop them rolling around. Um, that lip balm should be in there as well. So yeah, we have obviously the Beat the Sun by Crave Beauty, the, the Laneige anti-pollution one, stick thing, um, a lip balm, which is really, really quite thick, but it's actually okay. Um, this Neogen sunscreen, I didn't like it so much, but I'm always using it now. I actually really, really like it. This one is horribly out of date. This is the Misha Mild Sun, but um, I like the packaging. I'm a big fan of like line friends. So I'm a bit of a sucker for packaging as well. So I'd have kept that hanging around. Of course we have the Claire's, um, what is it? Soft Airy UV Essence Sunscreen. One of the best inventions of all time. The COSRX um, Snail Shield Fit, which is actually really nice and moisturizing. By the way, I only built this last week, so you're gonna see loads of like wood um, dust everywhere. Um, then we have a backup. <laughs> Claire's sunscreen. Um, what do we have in here? The Hadalabo sunscreen, which is amazing. The Misha one, one of my other favorites, the COSRX Aloe one. And then this is like a cushion sunscreen and it's just so white, like it's unbelievable. So what I'll do is if I'm sitting in the garden on like a really sunny day, I'll put it on like spots and like redness on my face to completely protect it. Next drawer. Oh. oh. Next draw is going to be the night creams, I believe. Yes, so this is all kind of like my nighttime moisturizers and eye creams for some reason, even though I don't use eye creams in the morning. Actually, they should move. They should go to like daytime moisturizers, right? Um, this is a bit backed up, actually. It's kind of like all the way down there, we got like the Etude House, all the like heavier, kind of like more summery, colder weather moisturizers for me. Um, a backup Joan Day and Joan Night Cream. Um, this Dr. Jar Seeker Pair, which is quite good, I think. The Laneige Watery Sleeping Mask. Um, I don't know why I said it like that. The Naked Up Face 10% AHA Scaling Cream, um, which is like a moisturizer with AHA in, um, which I use at night, of course. Um, I don't know why this one's in here, but I'm trying out, um, funnily enough, not a Korean brand. This is Origins. This is their Make a Difference Plus, Plus Rejuvenating Treatment. It's just a nice, soft, um, daytime moisturizer. So in the wrong drawer. This is more of a thicker moisturizer. This is the Plant Description Power Lifting Cream by Origins. So that's quite nice. This is such a nice moisturizer, but definitely for like winter nights for my oily skin. This is the Innisfree. Jeju Orchid Enriched Cream. Jeju, Jeju. Um, the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. I think I've also got this in like a, um, what's the word? Yeah, in this form. <laughs> um, and then we got the COSRX. Then we got the COSRX Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. And then this one as well. This is the Neogen um, Overnight Mask, which is really good. So if you've got like spot prone skin or you're breaking out, this is a nice one to use overnight. I don't know what this is. Do you ever order stuff and you're like, I don't actually know what that is. It looks like a tone-up cream, which I don't really use a lot of. Um, and then another COSRX Overnight Mask. And then the COSRX Centella Blemish Cream in there too. So the next one is going to be a little bit random. Um, so we've got lip stuff in here, lip masks, um, oils, balms. Um, we got spot patches, pimple patches here. Um, yeah, it's just as many as I can get in there. These are spot treatments. So we have the Neogen um, A Clear Pink Eraser, which is pretty much the same thing as the AC Cleanup from Etude House, but I actually prefer the Neogen one. This is the other part of the serums that I showed you from Neogen, like the ones that look like um, injections. So you put that on your spot, first of all. It doesn't dry out, it's quite nice, so I use that quite often. Um, I have a fan in here <laughs> because I like my chemical exfoliator to dry quickly, so I kind of fan my face after that. Pseudo cream 
same spot treatment. We got um, another COSRX spot treatment here. Um, a bubble lip mask. We have Jeffree Star lip scrubs here. Um, and these peace out pore um, patches, which are incredible. I might talk about these in another video one day. They're really, really good. Yeah, loads of lip stuff. I have lip balm and lip tints in here. I do like to have a bit of color on my lips when I'm going out, um, like a bit of redness in the middle, add a bit of depth to them. Eyebrow stuff, BB creams, which I think are horribly out of date because I don't use them ever. Final draw is a few mask type things. Um, so we've got our cotton pads, which aren't masks, they're just easy to get to there. Um, I'm trying to be, right, I'm trying to be a little bit more sustainable with my skincare, so I know it's gonna take way more than just doing this, but I'm trying to buy like multi-packs of masks um, so that they don't come in their individual packets. So there's like seven masks in each one, so that's like one, two, three, that's nearly a month worth of masks instead of using it, the individual packets. Um, so hopefully that, you know, is a little bit more sustainable. Little hydrogel patches, I'm not really sure what these are. That's a cream. That's an armpit lightener, which I haven't used and I'm not sure why I got. The eye patches, of course, here. Um, a mask that has been sent to me and I need to try. There's that Dr. Jart terrifying baby mask thing there and a few Hadalabo sheet masks at the back there. This is a Hamish black tea mask that I actually love when my skin's feeling like a little bit dry and tired looking and just generally crap. Very creamy. Um, and then two Glam Glow masks that um, I never really use. They were just so expensive. I don't want to get rid of them. They were kind of a waste to be honest with you. Um, Innisfree clay mask here as well. Um, and then let me bring you over here quick. So in here is where all my skincare was initially, but I now got folded up t-shirts and stuff in there. This drawer is kind of just like, uh, kind of like whatever drawer. I got some hair stuff in there. I don't know what this is. These are all samples that come with skincare I've ordered. Hair stuff, oh. This is like a um, massage tool that I love. Ice globes, I've got this Neo Neutrogena um, thing, <laughs> one of those light treatment things. Um, and then these are all brightening sheet masks. These are all kind of like um, nourishing, soothing, calming, healing sheet masks. Then I think these are just generally, yeah, these are just general brightening and good appearance sheet masks. Um, then that is it. I'm a little bit exhausted after that. Was that a lot? I tried to do that as quick as possible. I'm not obviously gonna list all the items down below, but what I'll do is I'll list like three of my favorites from each drawer. If you want me to go draw by draw and do a video dedicated to each drawer, let me know. But yeah, that's also for me the best way to organize my skincare is to have dedicated drawers. I want another one so I can have like lip stuff separate and essences separate to um, other toners. You know, I need a little bit more room. Um, really, I don't need it, it's fine. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any of these products. What ones you love, what ones you don't love. Oh, look how tired I look. Um, but yeah, let me know. But that is it for me now, guys. I will see you next time. <laughs>